How's it going, people? We're here for our skin preview for this week, and we are looking at one of the two new sheet metal doors. This one's brought to us by LaCrampe, and is once again another Aztec item, so really help. Seriously, get on that jungle, man. We need a jungle for all these Aztec skins. I say that every single time, and I will continue to say it until we see a jungle of some sort. But anyways, uh, it's actually a really cool looking door, uh, it's pretty awesome, I love the colors of it, and uh, as you would typically expect from the crime pay, it has done a really nice job. So, yeah, definitely a nice door, let's go ahead and check out the other one. This door definitely falls on the weird and silly side, uh, it's the Scrap Robot Door by Killer... Bleh? Killer BL? We'll just go with Killer BL. And, uh, yeah, it's got, like, a little scrap robot made on it, and, uh, it's, uh, pretty city looking Uh, <coughs> color scheme's a little bit ugly, I think. But, uh, all altogether, it's a goofy little door if you're looking for something kind of silly. Well, there you have it. Uh, I always like the silly skins and rust. Next up, we've got the Trash Garage Door by Little Ranger, and as you can see, this thing's made up of a bunch of junk. Now, this does have a see-through part, as you can see, so do keep in mind if you get this door skin where you place it, because people will be able to kind of see what's behind it. So, always be careful about that. Altogether, I think it's a really cool door. It's very bright and colorful. It's uh, got some neat little designs to it, and I think uh, Little Ranger did a really good job with it. So, definitely a nice one there. Now, of course, I always forget to mention the prices of things. So that's my bad there. This door will run you $1.49. The Aztec door is going to run a $2.99. And the Scrap Robot door, $1.49. Next up, we've got the Stone Killer set. Or, well, the killer set, I should say, of stone tools. We've got the Stone Killer Pickaxe by Jensen. And uh, it's got kind of a bit of a tribal look to it. Uh, I, I think the... The little stone part of the pick actually kind of looks like a minnow to me for some reason. I don't know. I think it's that kind of like eye here at the beginning. I think is what's doing it. But uh, we'll pull into hand here. You can see it's a nice looking little skin. And uh, if you're looking for something tribal but a little bit more colorful, this is definitely a neat one. Uh, this guy will set you back a $1.99 as well as its counterpart of the uh, stone axe. Lovingly named the tree killer. Let's go ahead and check that one out. Next up, here it is, is the Tree Killer as it's named in the store. For some reason, in the workshop, it's named the Forest Killer. You can go ahead and kind of ignore that. It's got a red X on it, which I'm pretty sure is paying homage to the fact that you got to hit those red X's on them trees. But, uh, yeah, very cool looking. I guess uh, it's not meant to look like a fish, because as you can see here, it's got the little design all around it. So, I don't know. I was just using my imagination there. Love the colors on this. The greens and the blues are really cool. I think it's a, a nice little set. And uh, definitely has some personality. It's very different looking from anything else, which I think is what a lot of people are looking for right now with new skins. Next up, we've got the Ritual Furnace by Relic. And it is a very different looking furnace. It's got all sorts of little designs on it. Uh, if you check down from the top, it's very metallic looking. It's a... Uh, almost has a face in it, which I think is supposed to be the idea. If you look deep down inside, it's got a custom low glow to it of a different color than the default, which is always nice. And yeah, just all together, the rocks look kind of mossy and old, and uh, it's got these sweet kind of like blood tone colors to it. And it's, uh, it's really unique. I, I really like this fireplace, uh, fireplace, furnace skin, uh, and Relic, you did a great job on it. So, if you're looking for something a little bit different and kind of uh, has a bit of a m commanded majesty to it, but still looks really worn and torn, uh, this is an excellent skin for that. Next up, we've got the Cold Hunter Python by Mad, and Mad always puts out something really awesome. And this was supposed to actually make it in last week, but if you guys didn't catch that, uh, Gary was a little bit of a rebel and decided he's going to choose the skins himself. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty awesome. So we got it this week, Helk stuck it in and made sure that we got pretty much all the skins that were approved last week but didn't make it, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, this guy will be $3.99, it's the most pricey skin this week, but you can pretty much see why. It doesn't glow in the dark. 
Uh, I know people are going to ask that one. Uh, but it just it has a really nice effect look to it. And uh, it's just a very unique gun. This is definitely a collector, I would say. Uh, I always love the unique stuff. I know it doesn't really fit, but it, it it's just cool looking. How can you not love it? Next up, we've got a neat set of a hoodie and pants from Raven. A Raven? Raven? I guess it's Raven. I don't know. There's no A. Raven, Raven. I'm so bad at this. I stumble over words all the time. So we've got the Czechists hoodie. And as you can see, this is a really nice looking hoodie. It's got a little star decal there. You've got some more little army insignia on it there. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, really nice color it fits into the kind of rust thing and uh it's got a bunch of different kind of like leather dark browns and uh you know almost black but not quite and then you've got a little bit of red leather in there a little bit of like green painted and it it is this got some nice dark tones some earth tones to it and i think it's really nice it's a pretty cool set and uh, it's pretty different from a lot of stuff that's been out there I think there's a couple burlap sat sets that might have similar colors, but nothing that really quite looks like it So again, it's actually kind of nice to have a couple of uh, unique looking things this week Of course, you've got to have the pants that go along with it now the pants have a much lighter tone to them uh, in the back You can see it gets a little bit Some darker spots, but really it's a uh, much lighter and it's quite a contrast to the actual top and looks good uh, I think it's a really nice set and I also like the fact there's kind of like a uh, little pouches and everything There's lots of nice details to it uh, Raven you've done a pretty good job. I uh, like this set and uh, it's pretty neat. So Definitely one worth checking out guys this week both will cost you 99 cents each So not a whole lot of uh, cost there for a pretty nice looking set Next up we've got the war beast set from BSF or not set uh <laughs> SAR words semi-automatic rifle and uh, It's got a really cool design to it. I like it quite a bit. I like the details on it and everything uh, The picture is a little bit weird. I like the idea of the bear, but I, I'm not sure what's going on Is that the leaning tower of Pisa behind it? I'm sure it's some kind of reference that I am completely missing and you're all going to yell at me about in the comments Because you all enjoy that so much anyways but yeah, that, this one doesn't quite do it for me, I don't think, but I think altogether it is really nice looking. So you guys are going to have to let me know how you feel about it. I, I really like the look from here, it's very fancy. Uh, and you know, once you zoom down, you've got a little bit of detail here, which is always really nice. I hate it when people leave this big lump uh, on the back of the SAR just empty, because it, it's so in your face when you're aiming down the sights. So it's nice to always see a little design there. Um, let's, there we go. Definitely an awesome looking skin, uh, just not one for me. Of course, this one will run $1.99 like most weapon skins do. Uh, let's go ahead and check out an awesome sword we've got this week. All right, as I said, you got an awesome sword. Now, this one will set you $1.99 back. Milo has brought it to us this week, and as usual, you can expect quite the quality. Of course, this is a long sword. As you can see, there is still the wrench there at the end. But this long sword has been made up to look like a Spartan sword and this Spartan warlord sword skin is probably one of my favorite skins that has been made for the sword so far once you pull it into your hand you can see all its beautiful beaten up war torn business it's got all the proper bronze and gold colors to it with nice little highlights of black and it's just a really awesome looking sword I love this one it's great and it's one I picked up and uh, like I said, $1.99 is not too bad. It's a really awesome skin, and I think this one will be worth something longer down the lines. Next up, we've got the Conquistador Face Mask Version 5 by Stab and Crew. And as you can see, it, it it's very different looking. It has this kind of like hopper look to it, which is a little bit unique. Uh, but I don't know. It doesn't really say Conquistador to me. Uh, it, it kind of has like this weird like mesh in front that almost it, it almost kind of looks like a muzzle to me honestly now I, I see the arrow on the face and everything and I think that looks really great and it's a beautiful skin I just I don't know it doesn't really scream Spanish Inquisition to me or anything I I, I, I don't know you guys have to let me know how you feel about it maybe there's something I'm missing uh, to it but it, it's definitely an awesome looking mask and of course it has a beautiful chest piece to go along with it 
Now, the chess piece, I have to say, is definitely something I love quite a bit. Now, these are the usual price of $1.99, but they're actually only 99 cents this week. Uh, so, grab it while you can. It's a buck less than metal armor skins usually are. Uh, so, definitely a worthwhile thing. Uh, let's go check out that chess piece. Now, when I think Conquistador, I can't speak today. I, whoa, zoom, super zoom. I definitely feel it right here. We got this amazing lion on it and the coppers and leather tones to it. And it is just a really nice set here. Uh, let's zoom back out so we can get behind here a little easier. You got this beautiful sun on the back of it. And uh, it is just a really, really nice chess piece. And uh, it looks quite good with the mask as well. So like I said, there might be something I'm missing on the mask, but definitely an awesome set. Stab and crew did a really good job on this one this week. And like I said, 99 cents, quite the steal, not a bad deal at all. So that does it for this week's skins, guys. Uh, a lot of these were supposed to be in last week, but like I said, Gary had a little fun, but Hulk made sure we still got them this week because he's awesome. So go give a shout out to them and say, hey, thanks for, you know, not skipping over the skins. And sound off down in my comment section below. Let me know which ones you liked, why you did, why you didn't like them, and which ones you may have picked up. I hope, as always, this video has helped you guys choose which skins you like. And uh, a lot of you have been asking, well, how come you're not using the inspection or, you know, you press N and you can inspect the weapon or item. The reason I'm not doing that is because that's not available in the workshop. Uh, it just doesn't work. So uh, for those of you asking, that's the answer there. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Please click that bell notification if you haven't already so you don't miss these videos. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. Those are the, honestly the most reliable ways to see the videos as they automatically post there, as YouTube is not sending things to sub boxes as usual. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week with those skins.